Question number six says, functions f, g, and h are twice differentiable functions where g of 2 and h of 2 equal 4. So they coincide at the point x equals 2, y equals 4. And they both have a tangent line that is equal to 4 plus 2 thirds x minus 2. So again, the coordinate is at x equals 2, y equals 4. We can see that from the point slope form. And we can see that that represents the slope m. So it's the tangent is, is tangent to both graphs at x equals of g and h at that same time. So h prime of 2 represents slope. Okay, so h prime of 2 represents slope at x equals 2. Well, we have the slope here. This, by definition, the tangent has a slope of, that, of the tangent line. So that's going to be equal to the slope of that tangent line, which is equal to 3 over 2. Part B says, let A be the function given by A of x equals 3x cubed times H of x. And says, write an expression for A prime x and then find A prime at 2. So first thing is that we have to understand, they're asking us to differentiate this using notation. So we're starting with our ax equals 3x cubed times h of x. So a prime of x is going to be equal to, well, I'm going to have a product of two functions. So I'm going to differentiate the first function and leave h of x like that. Plus, I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to then find the derivative at h prime. Okay, so that's my expression for a prime. And then I can evaluate a prime at 2 by plugging in 2 into this equation. So I have 9 times 2 squared times h at 2 plus 3 times x is 2 again, 2 cubed times the slope at x is 2. Okay, so if we take a look at the original question, it tells us that h of 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so I'm going to just highlight that. h of 2 is equal to 4. So we're going to replace that with 4. We also know that h prime of 2, we've, we've worked out here, h prime of 2 is equal to 2 thirds. So and then I'm going to replace that. So everything is known in this expression. I'm just going to calculate this. We end up with 9 times 4 is 36 times the h of 2 is equal to 4 from the beginning there. So I'm just going to again highlight that, make sure you know where that's coming from. Plus, plus 3 times 2 cubed is 8, so that's going to be 3 times 8, which is 24, and then h prime of 2, we worked out to be 2 over 3. Okay, and again, just highlight that to show where that came from. Okay, so when we work this all out, this is going to be equal to 160, so that's the value of a prime at 2.